welcome back to the channel it's Natalie I have a Jane's doodle card now my cards this month are going to be a little bit quiet but we'll talk about that I have as you can see here a mixture of blue greens with a, a quite a green in there so we've got the Billy green the cobalt green and ivy green now these are all the gam Tambi um, paints I love them they're quite creamy if you like that I'm playing with this a little bit just sort of seeing whether if I sp spritz water on it it's going to pick it up now I think that was my cardstock because this cardstock I've mentioned in a couple other videos it's not my fave it's not my fave at all but we're going to use it this is the Jane's Doodles Plumeria Frangipani. That's what I know it as. So I've done this image before on my channel. I love Frangipanis. I love them. As I've mentioned previously, they were always in my grandmother's garden in her house in Sydney. And they just remind me of my grandma. It's just, you know, that's what it is. The greens, we're just trying to keep it relatively simple. We've got the spring green and the dark green. I am using a light hand and going in with some Gamsol to blend that out and smooth that out. So I'm into a little bit of a colored pencil phase you know because why not I've got plenty of other pencils and everything else I do actually have quite a few pencils not as crazy town as some people who are way talented but I do have quite a few because I tend to I do teach classes sometimes and I am a colorer and so I, can't, I don't have quite a lot I ha don't have two sets of polychromos or prism colors or whatever so we have a lot of mixture of bits and pieces I've got the lemon green and the mineral orange for my frangipanis the mineral orange I'm just sort of using it had a little gooby there that I had to get rid of right in the center to give it a little bit of depth a little bit of fun and interest this I'll leave a link down below over to Jane's website uh, she's got some really cute images and some really pretty ones she's also got a patreon page that you can get exclusive there with her as you can see here i've only i used the orange right near the edge like right near the center i should say watch this one and then work it out with a little bit of yellow until i'm happy with it then blending that out so it goes out that little bit further but the tip is still white because there's other colors I'm sure I can't remember I don't know these pinks and things like that but frangipanis will always be white and yellow for me they cannot be a different color it's not possible not in my world so that's what I do because you know that's the fun bit so I've trimmed this down I've got a little bit of cream cardstock because I thought oh I'll firstly cards watercolor cardstock is not white white like you can get some this is pretty good I will honestly say this cardstock is pretty good pretty white it looks very white there this is Lisa Horton's fabulous fonts I got that from a local place this also has dyes with it but we're just going to my head's going to get in the way sorry while I make sure my stamp is straight touch wood I'm doing awesome with keeping my stamp straight <laughs> you know it doesn't always happen but it, it does okay can you see a problem here has anyone picked up the problem here I'll give you a minute let's just watch this is where I'm tweaked mm-hmm I've got either white or clear there I know it's white but and I'm using embossing powder ink like the mark versa mark ink I'm like what are you doing Natalie anywho 
I have put a lot of foam tape on this because it's a little bit warped with the color. It's pretty good, but it is a little bit warped. Um, as a, yeah, as I was saying, from here on out, I'm going to struggle with lining up my stamps and making them straight. But you know, I am currently in a time of my life that I'm getting those little babies straight. Touch wood. I've mounted that up with a little bit of black. This is just going to be obviously flat on the ground. This, in my drawer, I have some top folding cards, card front or card bases. I don't really know why I did it, but I'm enjoying it at the moment. So most of my cream card bases, if you see me do a cream, they're going to be top, top folding for a little while. I mostly do just the normal ones, the norm, well, normal ones for Australian. That is it for me today. Thank you for putting up with me today and take care. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.